Hey guys, so Intuition here. Um, this is the blog that I'm writing, I mean writing, that I am videotaping as opposed to writing um, for my dating blog, she's dating again.blogspot.com. And for all the people who don't want to try to remember that, it's in the description right down there. Down there. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Um, the date that I went on Thursday, I know it's Saturday now, but I was busy and then I had some issues because Google and YouTube merged the account, the accounts like more than it was like it was already linked. But now anyway, that's one, that's another story. Okay, so this date is with um, Hunky Teacher Guy and you can see the first date blog post if you go to the, the dating blog. All right, and make sure you follow, okay, because um, that's cool, and leave comments, too, if you want. Okay, now, um, this was, like, one of my longest dates ever. We started about 2.30, and we finished at 8.30, so six-hour date, right? Wow. Okay, so first, we were supposed to go bowling on Fort Belvoir, but uh, he was riding a motorcycle, and he didn't have the right gear like he had on um a wife beater but he had a, a, a t-shirt in his bag but it was um a short sleeve t-shirt and in order to ride on base you need a long sleeve t-shirt and also you need reflective gear my eyes like swollen i think it's allergies anyway um and you need reflective gear which he didn't have either one of those and i told him to him like you know i was in the marine corps you should have told me you know uh you should have asked me if there were any special requirements because i'd have let you know but that's neither here nor there okay so we couldn't do that so then he was like have you ever been to george washington estate and i'm like nope so i followed behind him i didn't ride with him because i didn't you know i couldn't leave my car there on the base so um i followed behind him and I actually have a picture. I know it's weird, but I knew I was going to do a blog post. And originally, obviously, I planned to write in. I always had pictures for my blogs. So I was going to um, tack this picture up there. But I followed behind him, and I'll show y'all. This is what he looked like when I was following behind him. Okay, so anyway, he rides a Harley, a little Harley. So, um, yeah, so we, we went up, um, we took like a back road up to George Washington Estates, and we went to the George Washington house, and then we ate at that restaurant, because he said he was super hungry, and uh, they had like colonial style food, and everybody dressed in colonial cl clothes, and, oh, excuse me, colonial clothes and stuff, and that was pretty cool, food was good. Um, we had a good time, good conversation. He's pretty funny, too, which I like. Then we went to the park. Then we went to, uh, oh, and what park we went to was off GW Parkway. Um, we went to, you know, near, we were, like, on the river, the Potomac. And it was cool because we were, like, skipping rocks and just talking and looking at the snails that's moving around in your shells all covered with mud. Um... Then, and that's when he told me that when he's at work, because he moonlights as a bouncer, he told me at work he always make you know makes up a different name every night, and it's hilarious. So we were coming up with names and what he should be. And actually, we were talking tonight on text, and I told him tonight his name should be Danny Fletcher. So I don't know if he's going to do it. Actually, let's, he just text, text me. <laughs> He said he was going to name himself Paul Kersey tonight on account of the Death Wish Marathon on AMC. <laughs> okay, so it's Paul Kersey tonight. I'm texting him back now. Paul Kersey it is. But Danny Fletcher tomorrow. That's what I'm texting. So, um, all right. So, anyway, um, <laughs> that's funny. All right. So, uh, yeah. Then we went to Potomac River, I told y'all that part, and that was nice, got to know him a bit better and stuff, and um, he said when he was a kid, he wanted to change his name to Luke, and he wanted to wear cleats to school every day, this, is, this kid, you know, he's in kindergarten, I think, or that's in elementary school, 
After that, we went to um, a restaurant called Indigo Landing in Old Town Alexandria, and it's right on the water. It was really nice, and we went there for happy hour, and we had um, shrimp, which he peeled the shrimp for me because I was totally messing it up, and I just wasn't comfortable and stuff. And he was like, I'll peel it for you. That was nice, and also had some mussels. So good. If you ever go to Indigo Landing Restaurant in Old Town Alexandria in Virginia, go get the mussels. It comes with like a sourdough bread. Oh, the the wine sauce is so good. Um, then we went to. We had to go pick up mail. Um, his uncle's on vacation, so we stopped by his place and picked up his mail. He he put it in the house. Then we went to. Um, Oh, and then we went to his um, job. And I was like, you sure you want me to go to your job, too? He's like, yeah, come on. He paid for my parking and everything. And he opened a tab for me at the, at his job. And um, he bounces at a bar in uh, Georgetown. And I stood outside with them for a while. And uh, for like an hour. And it was fun. People are so crazy when they're drunk. It's a great way to people watch. And also, I guess, a good way to get to know each other, too. Because, you know, we just out there talking. And he's a... Uh, He's funny, and uh, so that's about it. Um, during the date, uh, we like I said, we got to talk a lot, and we spent a lot of time together, and it was fun. Like it was just, it was just natural, just the way it progressed, like from place to place. He's like, man, we're restaurant hopping. I'm like, I know. He's like, it's kind of cool, and I know all these places. I'm like, yeah, it's kind of cool, because I've lived in Virginia for quite some time, and I've never been to any of those places. Never took the time. I always told myself I was going to go um, stop at some place along the Potomac on the GW Parkway because there's some really scenic places, beautiful. And I just never took the time. But I'm glad I did. We sat out. When we were in the park, we sat on top of the picnic tables. And he was telling me that he likes to go fish in his kayak. And I'm like, what? Extreme fishing? He's like, yeah. I'm like, you should have been a Marine. But Because uh, they do extreme everything. Extreme frisbee, everything. Um, what else, what else, what else? Nothing particular crazy or weird, you know, and I told him too, I was like, man, you seem super normal, and we talked about dating and how it gets tiresome dating, you know, um, just because, like, how people are, and, uh, but at the same time, it can be fun and exciting, but then, you know, on the other hand, you kind of get tired of meeting new people over and over again, you know, and kind of things not panning out. But right now, I have two pretty good, uh, I guess, potentials, you know. So that was date number two for Hunky Teacher Guy. Also had date number two with Policymaker. And um, date number two, maybe with Violin Maker. We still talk on the phone, and we're supposed to get together soon maybe tomorrow and oh the Puerto Rican Marine we actually had a date last night and it was cool everything's cool he's he's nice uh, but I don't trust Scorpio so mm -mm. um we're supposed to actually so actually him too tomorrow we may go just go to a place not too far from here not too far from me a sports bar that I really like to go to called Mix. They have this popcorn crawfish. So good. It's like popcorn shrimp, but better. Um, we may go there tomorrow. So it's between him or policymaker going out tomorrow. But nobody um, super solid yet. I re I'm just going slowly but surely. Just getting to know people and stuff. Hopefully by fall, maybe something will pan out with one. But right now, it's just dating, getting to know each other, keeping things light and breezy like the summer. All right. Well, this video is getting long, so, and plus I'm super sleepy, so I'm going to end this now. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I took some Z Z Quill, and I think it's starting to kick in. So, see you guys later. Peace. And don't forget to go to my blog. She's dating again. Dot blogspot dot